Um, I just want to check in with you all and give you a little bit of an update on our wheat project. First of all, it's doing really well. We've had a lot of rain this spring and it's growing tall and there aren't really any weeds in it. It looks really good. So I picked a few pieces here. It's not actually ready to harvest. That's what it's called when you cut it and take the seeds. It's still green, um, but you can see the stage that it's in now. Um, it did not have these last time. What it has now, you can see it has some wheat heads on it. So it's called the head on top there. Um, you can see inside there are the seeds and that's actually the part that we want. That's what we're interested in is the grain or the seeds. Kind of like we learned, that's where all the energy is. So that's what animals like to eat and that's what people like to eat. Um, so again, this is not ready to harvest. It probably has about three or four more weeks and what'll happen, it's kind of done growing, but it'll slowly turn brown and dry out and the seeds will dry out and they will start to look like this. If you guys remember, this is what they looked like when we planted it. So when we planted the wheat, they were like this dry seed. So in about three or four weeks, it'd be ready to cut. If you're a farmer, you're gonna use a combine and you're gonna cut a whole field and your combine will separate the seeds out for you. Um, if you just have a little bit like we do in a garden, you might take the heads off and just kind of smash them around and get the seeds out. So once you do that, you have your seeds, we're still not quite ready to eat it. Um, there might be some ways to use a whole seed like this, but usually people don't really eat the seeds like this we turned it into flour. So that would be our next step, is to turn it into flour. So what we need to do that um, is some way to really grind it up. That's what flour is. We take the seeds and just kind of grind it up. So here I have um, a wheat grinder and this will do the job for us. So the way this works is we put a bowl right here and I'm gonna put the wheat seeds in the top right here once they go in, there are two wheels that kind of spin around and they smash the seeds as they go through and turn it into flour. So you guys can watch, I'll turn it on here and we'll watch that happen a little bit. It's kind of noisy, so we can watch that, just watch it happen. So we'll turn it on, pour the wheat in the top. Okay, so there we have it, a whole bowl of flour. And one thing about this is that this is whole wheat flour. That means that we use the whole grain of wheat and ground it up. If you go to the store and you get white flour, um, that means it just uses the inside part of the wheat. It doesn't use the whole seed. They kind of separate it out to make white flour. So this flour is whole wheat. Um, which is usually considered to be better for you because it has the other parts that kind of help your body. Um, so what you can do with this then is make all kinds of things. All kinds of things are made from flour. So one of the main things we make is bread. Um, bread, cinnamon rolls, cookies. Um, if you look at ingredients, there is wheat flour in all kinds of things. So one recipe I'm going to add to your schedule, I'm going to add a recipe that'll be easy, an easy way to make bread. So if you want to try that, you don't have to, but if you want to try that, that's one thing you can do. If you want to find your own recipe that uses flour and make it, you can take a video or a picture and post that on the Seesaw blog if you want so we can all see it. So you can do one of those things. You can try the bread recipe or try your own recipe and let us know how it goes. Happy baking.